But first, a man is in critical condition tonight following a terrifying explosion at his Warren home. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brett Cast. The man's hand severed on impact during the incident on Get Genter Road near 8 Mile. That's where we find 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay, who spoke to neighbors who saw and felt the blast. Right now, crews are boarding up this home where the explosion left at least one person critically injured. And we're also told that a firefighter left this home on a stretcher. Neighbors say that this explosion was so loud that it shook the ground. Billows of smoke and fire pouring out of a home on Jetner Street in Warren. House went up, flames, smoke just grabbing toward to the sky, black sky everywhere. This video taken from a neighbor rushing to the home after hearing the blast from blocks away. It was one massive explosion followed by several smaller ones and then it sounded like fireworks going off after that. And when I got out of my vehicle and walked it into my street, all I seen was a gray cloud of smoke. Police confirmed there was one person inside the home at the time of the explosion. That person is now in critical condition. Amy looked. And she said, oh, my God, Harry Patiris was outside on a porch when he heard the blast. And while he stood back to see what was happening, his friend jumped into action and she just took off running. And then she started yelling, everybody, please get out of the house. Patiris says she saw the person was severely burned and his hand was missing. But even with his injuries and he said, I got to go back in. My dog is in there. Police confirmed the dog was able to get out and we're told that he was later picked up by East Point police. Right now, we're still working to learn what caused the blow up, but the bomb squad alongside Warren police and fire departments were on scene during the investigation. The people that I spoke with say that this street is a very tight knit community. One woman was there to wrap up the person's injured arm. There was another person who brought a pillow and waited for first responders to get here. And right now the community says they're just praying for a speedy recovery. In Warren, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.